Okay, we're reading from uh, First Peter this week. And uh, remember Peter in the Gospels, he's kind of the guy that wants to avoid suffering at all costs. Remember that iconic scene when he's standing in front of the Lord telling him, yeah, I'm not going to Jerusalem to suffer. I will not allow that. You're not going to suffer and die under my watch. And then later on, uh, when, it's, when Jesus is crucified, he's not even there because he doesn't like the sight of blood. So, so Peter is somebody that, that runs away from suffering and tries to avoid it. After the resurrection, he has a deep, profound understanding of the meaning of suffering. So let's take a look at what he discovered after the resurrection and how suffering is so important. Okay, so there's a lot of reasons why they have suffering. One, one is consequences, consequences from from uh, maybe not following the laws. And if we don't follow the, the driving laws, sometimes we can get in an accident and uh, we can hurt somebody and then there's consequences to that. Or take, for instance, our health. If we don't take care of our teeth or we don't eat properly or exercise, later on, <laughs> you're gonna pay the price. So, we, so, so a lot of times our suffering comes from consequences. So Peter is not dealing with this kind of suffering, suffering that is caused by punishment. Now there's another kind of suffering and this is through training. Sometimes when we train, we, we suffer. I know from uh, students who uh, go to universities, they have to leave their home and, and their friends and go to a strange place. And then on top of that, they have, if they go to a good university, they have professors that are very demanding. I know Harris, uh, my videographer here and myself went to BC and they have some of the finest professors there and they're gonna be demanding. <laughs> you gotta study a lot and you gotta study hard and it's difficult. I'm training for a marathon and it's, I go out for a run, sometimes at four in the morning, so I have to go to bed early. It's hard getting up that early. Uh, when I'm running, you feel discomfort and pain, you get uh, aches and pains in your, so we, we suffer uh, through because of training to get us better. It's like when gold is purified in the fire. Peter is not talking about this kind of suffering either. So the suffering that, that Peter is addressing, that that's the most valuable kind of suffering, is suffering that gives glory to God. Now that sounds nice and it's very biblical, but what does that exactly mean? So I'm gonna break it down a little bit so we can really appreciate what Peter is uh, saying here. Glory, anytime you hear the word glory or glorify God or God is glorified, what it means is God is becoming visible. And the reason why that's very important because God is invisible. If you can't see him, there's no way you're gonna be able to see God in any way unless God reveals himself to us. That's what glory is. So when you hear the glory that God is making an attempt, an effort to show himself to us. Now, one way he, God shows his glory is through his creation. He uh, Beautiful sunsets, landscapes, uh, pretty fish, <laughs> butterflies, birds and uh, the flying high in the sky. These are ways that uh, we see God's majesty, his artistry, his beauty, his intelligence, his power uh, comes shining through. Another way that God shows his, uh, his, his, himself to us, uh, makes himself visible, is by saving us. It's through, through redemption. It's, it's when God is compassionate. He's merciful. He's kind. He's slow to anger. He uh, embraces us in his love. Uh, we, he makes promises to us. He's holy. In other words, he's giving life to us. Uh, he blesses us with, with a great life. <laughs> and God has all of these beautiful, wonderful qualities and characteristics. And we feel them when we are most vulnerable, when we are suffering, when we were down and out. That's when God becomes visible to us. So what Peter is saying here is that the way God is made visible is when we glorify God by our suffering. So anytime anybody uh, offends us, when we are uh, oppressed, or when somebody puts us down, or, 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 or uses us, and is not grateful for us, or, uh, just, or we have disappointments, Peter is saying that these are all opportunities to be able to show off God's wonderful qualities. Take, for instance, patience. You're never patient when everything is going right. No, we, need, we show patience when uh, people cut us off on the road, or when people ignore us, or when people are, are late for a meeting. <laughs> we, we show uh, compassion, we show, we show mercy, we show kindness and patience uh, when we are suffering. And this is when the qualities of God really, really stand out. Uh, forgiveness. We never show forgiveness if everybody's nice to us. It's only when somebody's bad, be, mean to us or uh, upsets us that we show forgiveness. So when somebody opposes us, yeah, you, we can, you know, so let's say the neighbor 
the neighborhood kid is playing baseball and and the baseball comes through your picture window in the front. You can get mad, you can get upset, you can have a lawsuit, or you can say, I have an opportunity here to show off one of God's qualities. Now imagine if your life is like that, you see all these, the sufferings that we take on during the life as a moment to show off God's patience or God's kindness or God's mercy. The world's gonna to start to see God. God's gonna become visible to these people and they're gonna be drawn to them. The, 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 the God's, everybody loves God's characteristics. They love, they love to be loved. They love to have mercy. They love forgiveness. And, uh, all of these wonderful things. People are drawn to God if they, if they just see them. But sometimes in our world, we go all day and we never see God's qualities or characteristics. So it's up to us to do that. It's up to us to really to show off these qualities. So whenever anybody does anything wrong, whenever you're opposed, whenever you're having a, a bad day uh, because of other people, Say that, no, this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity for me to really show God's uh, qualities and God's characteristics, and then people be drawn to God. Uh, Peter, in this particular letter that we're reading today, is, is saying that Christ did that on the cross. That that's exactly gave God the opportunity to raise him from the dead to show his greatness. If Christ never died, we would never know about the resurrection. We would never know about that God raises people from the dead. So suffering is uh, good because this uh, suffering will help us to show the world God. Well, I hope you like this video. I will see you in the next one.